Governor of Ondo State, Oluwaru Timi Akeredolu, has said that the state may soon have its own cure for the COVID-19 pandemic. Akeredolu disclosed this while giving an update on the state of coronavirus at the government house on Monday in Akure. He said the government had been encouraging traditional medicine practitioners in the state to find a cure for the virus. He also urged the people of the state to promptly report any suspected case for medical review and appropriate treatment. According to him, the latest confirmed COVID-19 case leaves it in the state and has never travelled outside in recent times, thus indicating that there is community transmission. To discuss this and more, we have Commissioner for Health uh, from Ondo State, Dr. Wahab Adegbenro. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you, and uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, just right. talk, talk, talk us through what the rationale is uh, with the state government encouraging traditional cure, actively seeking for it. Um, uh, in, recent, in recent times, a number of uh, our traditional practitioners have come forward saying they have one hub or the other to take care of uh, COVID-19 cases. Uh, the position of the government that we need to do more work on it, NAVDAC needs to uh, examine what they have and so on, so that um, it has to be proven that it is okay before it can be used. Meanwhile, uh, Mr. Governor has told them that if they have any cases with them, they should bring them forward to IDH that is uh, the, our infectious uh, diseases hospitals, so that uh, appropriate treatment can be given to, to our patients or our cases. So the idea is that they need to, more work needs to be done on what they have before uh, they can be tested on human beings. Okay, let's talk about the situation with the local transmission. The governor did confirm uh, that when he was speaking. What is the latest with uh, the efforts of the state government to contain the spread of the coronavirus? Yeah, yeah we, the government is up to this task and uh, the government is doing a lot to contain the outbreak of the pandemic here. Uh, we are, in recent times, we have been having some cases of uh, community transmission. In fact, we, we had, uh, as at now, we have 24 confirmed cases. Uh, 18, 18 of them have been discharged, having tested negative. And uh, we have recorded two deaths. Uh, one was recorded in, uh, about uh, 48 hours ago. Uh, Hello. We yes, now have yes. uh, we now have four active cases on admission. Okay. So active uh, uh, active case search is ongoing to make sure that uh, we there uh, we test as many people as possible. What what are you doing uh, regarding an enlightenment? Because there are still some people who do not believe that coronavirus is real. What other uh, but, efforts are you making uh, aside uh, we, enlightenment to encourage uh, people? Uh, sensation is ongoing. We are using all media available to talk to the people that uh, this disease is real. And I'm not too sure anybody can raise his hand in no, those states that he has not heard about COVID-19. It's only that uh, people are just uh, are becoming difficult. I think the sensitization is ongoing and a lot of uh, activities are going on to ensure that uh, everybody everywhere in you know, those states is aware that COVID-19 is, uh, is here with us. All right, while we still have you on the phone, let's talk about Lassa fever. We know that they still have some um, in Ondo State. As yes, last yes. week, news showed that the state has recorded the highest number of cases with 327 and also recorded the highest number of deaths with 47. Um, you're followed by Edo, Taraba, and Bochi State. All right, How do right. you manage both situation, you know, at this time without one shot changing the other? Yeah, we, one, uh, you know, we are already used to Lassa FIFA, you know, in those states. And it has been with us for some time. 
FMC or war is actually in charge of treatment uh, for Lhasa cases. Why our IDH in Akure is in charge of treatment of COVID-19 cases. So we are not disturbing one another and the two are going on all together simultaneously. All right, it's only that much. attention attention has more or less been shifted to COVID-19. But the treatment and the management of Lhasa Viva and the case such and so on are still ongoing. I must thank you very much for your time with us on the news, Commissioner. God bless you.